concerned about the needs of his people. All right. All right. All right. I realize that we identify God by the point of emphasis he made us at our needs. Uh -huh. If you were sick and God healed you, mm -hmm. he is known as a doctor. Oh, yeah. And a sick one. Thank you. When the covers are bare. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No food in sight. Mm -hmm. But somewhere, somehow, food is on the table. He is Come on, Reverend. And it's bread and a star. Thank you. All right. All right. But how many of us realize that we serve a prayer answering? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A God that hear our cry. All uh, right. Of his people. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say I believe the world will be a better place. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. A much better place. Yes, we spend sir. more time yes, talking to God. Yeah. yeah. Instead of spending our time raising so much money. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's why God said, if my people, if they call by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. Mm -hmm. yes. And seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Yeah. All right. Then will I hear up. from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I yeah. will I will heal their land. Yeah. Oh, here. Brother. oh, brother. You see here in the text that Hezekiah discovered that God that he served was a prayer God. Oh, yes, All right. Sir. Yes, sir. Like all situations in life, it started off with a problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hezekiah. You see here in verse number one, Hezekiah's problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might be talking about Hezekiah's problem, but mm -hmm. we could be very well talking about our own problem. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. had a problem this week. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, you understand, woke up this morning to some problems. Yeah. Yeah. And for those who never yeah. experienced a problem, like grandma used to always say, just live on. Here in the text, we see that Hezekiah's problem was his sickness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the text said in those days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hezekiah's sickness took place in the first year that Jerusalem was under attack by Assyria. All right. In other words, problems don't come when you want them. All right. Yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hezekiah was being attacked external. Yeah. That's yeah. on the outside by the Assyrian army, but internal by his sickness. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And we need to find out problems can affect you. Mentally as well, well as physically yeah. and spiritually. Yeah. Yeah. But watch this. Hezekiah's sickness was unto death. Mm. There's a big difference in the word until and unto. All right. Yeah, until means that Hezekiah, you understand, was going to be sick until he died. Mm -hmm. That means he was probably been sick off and on. All right. But here in the text it said unto. That means he was going to die. Yeah. Right. It was a sickness that was going to carry on to his death. Uh -huh. Oh, what a mighty word is that. All right, all right. How can you deal with something so significant like that? Knowing that your sickness was going to take you out. All right. Not only did Hezekiah's problem was his sickness, but the problem carried a sentence. Mm -hmm. so we just talked about it in verse number 1b. He said that the Lord said unto him, he said, that he said that set thine house in order, mm -hmm. but thou shalt die and not leave. Uh -huh. What a sentence to serve. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me that God is not talking to the church in these days. All right. All right. I come here today to differ. That God right. is talking. Yeah. Amen. Right. The problem is, I'll leave this. All right. Uh -huh. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> God spoke a word through Isaiah. Yeah. Said here, speaking through the man serving today. I want you to understand that if God talked back then, God is talking now. Amen. Uh -huh. And he uh -huh. said, set down house. Yeah. In order. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Come here to ask you how many of our houses are in order. All right, right. Mm -hmm. Not, you understand, under your own philosophy, mm -hmm. or right. under your own ideology. Uh -huh. But is it set up in the way that God wants it to be set up? All right. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. God said, set down the house in order. All right. And if God call your name right now, yeah. will he receive you with open arms? All right. Or would your eyes lift up in hell? Mm. That's the question here today. All right. Uh -huh. 
Understand, God, God said He wants us to set our house in order. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Turn Hezekiah, he said, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die. Yeah. That's that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Thou shalt die. Now the other given if I do die, I'm not gonna live. But what God was saying here, look at this now. If you die without Christ, mm. you got to understand there's a second life after death. Oh, yeah. right. And where are you going to spend eternity? Oh, he was right. saying, thou shalt die yeah. and not live. I'm asking the church to question me here today. If you die right now, would you live? Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's the question here today because we live mm. as if we got time on our side. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I come here to tell you that, that, the, time, that, that the time is... Feel with swift transition. Oh, 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 you can be up today. Yeah. And folks will be carrying you out the same day. Oh, 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 oh. Folks leaving here every day. Oh, yeah. Got the police, you understand, taking folks lives. All right, man. Mm -hmm. And getting away with it by man made laws. All right. Uh -huh. And yet and still we sit here each and every day, knowing that we got saved, that we don't have God in our life. Jesus. And then God is saying, set thine house in order. Yeah. All right. You understand? I remember when when, 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 when we used to have company. Mama didn't, didn't, didn't wait till an hour before the company come to straighten up. Mama was straightened up two or three days before. Mm -hmm. That's what God is trying to get us to understand. Don't wait until I call your name and think that you can get things in order. Here, here's a car you sick right now. Bridget. They ain't not looking good for you right yes, now. Sir. Yes, sir. I done told my prophet to tell you that to set thy house in order for mm -hmm. thou shalt die mm -hmm. and not live. Here, yeah, yeah, here, that's Hezekiah's sentence. All right. Oh, what a sentence. I, yes, I Lord, wanted to yes, survive when we had that sentence laid on us today. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we, we, we plan. We, we, right. we, 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 we pre plan things. We pre plan our barriers. Pre-plan who gonna see what and who gonna get what, but we don't take the time to pre-plan our destiny. Oh, right yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. 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 But watch this. We talk about Hezekiah, prophet. Yes, mm -hmm. uh -huh. We got to understand. We're gonna talk about a God that a uh, God answering God. We mm -hmm. we we a uh, prayer answering God. We got to understand. We're gonna first start out with problems. Uh -huh. you know, we're gonna have some problems in life. You gotta really go and face it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But see how you deal with the problems is the answer. All right. Yeah. See, I come out to find out it's a certain way you deal with certain problems. Uh -huh. Amen. Right. See certain problems. Uh -huh. you, there's certain problems God will tell you how to deal with it. Uh -huh. Certain problems you can't deal with, you just got to put it in God's hand. Yeah. 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 That's what God wants you to do. Oh, God. Oh. Amen. Here he said, here we see Seven. Hezekiah's prayer. Mm -hmm. Verse number two and three. See, Hezekiah, mm -hmm. Hezekiah realized that long as things are going well, I realize that as long as things are going well, long as we ain't got no problem, we don't talk to God. Uh-huh. But as soon as yes. something comes uh, up, as soon as the trouble, the water starts trouble, uh, the ship about to turn over. We talk God ill. All right. Yeah, yeah, I, I realize that. Uh, some of us haven't prayed to God in so long, we don't even know how to approach God. All yeah. right, yeah. not real. You got to understand uh, it's a certain way and an aspect how you approach yes, God. Sir. God ain't your butt. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. God ain't your pop. Amen. All right. You got to right. have respect and reverence for the Almighty. Oh, yeah. God. Amen. Hezekiah realized this. And Hezekiah, and, and the text said, as soon as Hezekiah got the news, the text said he was, it was sudden, because the text said, ding. Mm. Yeah, 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 we got to understand this. Hezekiah, you understand, then turned to friends and family. All right. uh -huh. and, and don't get me wrong, it's good to have friends and family when you're going through something. Yeah. Right. But I come here to realize, I realize that when you're going through something, that's when you really find out who your friends and family yeah. are. Yeah. 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 You think they on your side. Yeah. We're going through something. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they'll turn their back on you. Yeah. 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 Hezekiah yeah. didn't, didn't see nobody else. The, the, the Bible said that Hezekiah turned mm -hmm. his face to the Lord <coughs> yes. and prayed unto the Lord. Yeah. Bible said then, suddenly, mm. you understand, he didn't go to somebody else. He, he saw God right then. All right. And that's our problem. We, we try to handle things so much on our own. Mm. Uh -huh. Instead of trying to put it in God's hands. Amen. You understand? I remember when, when, when Jesus asked a question. 
he asked the disciples, he didn't want to send the people where they had been here all day to listen to me preaching. He knew they were hungry. Uh -huh. and, 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 and Jesus asked the question. He said, look as long as you and, and see what you can find. And one of the disciples said that we got two small fish and five barley loaves. Uh -huh. Then he went on to say, but what is this? Among so many, see in his hands it was just two fish and five bottles. Uh -huh. so Jesus said, "Give it to me." Yeah. See, yeah. Is in your hands. Yeah. Yeah. But when you put it in the hands of God, it's all for Amen. 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 For the answer. Yeah. So you come to me, I can tell you anything. Because see, sometimes Mike get out of out of himself and he start telling you what Mike think. Uh -huh. So you ought to search for God and get what God said. Because when you go with what God said, you can't go wrong. Amen. So I beseech the old Lord. He said, remember. I just want to break this word down, y'all. He said, remember. Take your time, Reverend. How many of really want God to remember? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you say you want God to remember. Some things I'm gonna come jump back and just gonna tell you. There's some things I've done like I don't want God to remember. <laughs> All right. So he'll help yes, God, yes, yes, I'm God, I want you to remember. All right, man. Yeah. Some of us have raised so much hell this week. You don't want God to remember. You trying to forget it yourself. God, he said, God, I want you to remember some things. All right, said, remember man. Uh -huh. how I have walked before uh -huh. thee in truth. All right. Yeah. What he saying here, God, I want you to remember how I was living. How many of us living a life that God, you want God to remember? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, how many of us that have done everything that God had told us to do? Mm. He said, God, I want you to remember. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know God got a book of remembrance. Yes, yeah. And he keep a track. You know, my yeah. grand auntie used to always say that. She said, she said keep you a, get you a tablet and write down what folks say and do. Because you can't remember everything. Uh -huh. They're going to tell you one thing and you forget it and go along with it. But, but write it down. Hey, God, God has got some stuff wrote down. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And he said, Hezekiah said to God, he said, God, I want you to remember. He said, I want you to remember how I walked, how I lived, how you live. He said, set down a house in order. It's your house in order. How you live? Yeah, it's you living upright. It's you living perfect. It's you doing what God told you to do. It's you, it's you, it's you treating folks right. Mm. Is you trying to feed the home? How, yeah. how you live? Right. Is you reading the word? Is you coming to church? Is you praying? Yes. Or how you live? Is you living like hell? Is you is you is you cutting folks back out? Mm -hmm. Is you backbiting? All right now. Is you mistreating my people? All God right. said. He said. Hezekiah said. God, I want you to remember how I walk. And he said. Then in truth, he said, and with the perfect heart. Yes. What he was saying. He said. He said. I, I, I haven't done everything. I haven't been the perfect because you know the Bible said all have seen. Yeah. Yeah. And Paul was short his glory. So yeah. he understood that. He said, but everything that you told me to do, I tried my best to do it. I kept the perfect heart. Uh -huh. He said, I didn't mistreat my neighbors. Yeah. He said, when I saw the folks that needed clothes, I put clothes on their back. I tried to feed the home. He said, I want you to remember those things. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, I, I wonder if, if God called our name right now. And if you ask God to remember some things, will he spare your life like he did Hezekiah? Yeah. Glory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is something to think about. Oh, because you're right. talking about a prayer answering God. Yeah. And if you ain't living no life, then God can answer your prayer. Why are you praying to him? Yeah. Why are you hoping yeah. God ain't going to answer your, your, your prayer? You ain't living right. Mm -hmm. You ain't trying to do right. All you're doing is just talking. Your words ain't going outside you for a while. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I realize, I realize now that we serve a God that can answer some prayer. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I can know, I, I hear folks say, even if you can't say a money word, just wave your hand. God already knows what's on your heart. Oh, yeah. I can uh -huh. He's asking God, he said, he said, he said, God, I want you to remember how I walked. Yeah. You understand? With a with upright and how I had a perfect heart and have done with that was good and not sight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything that you, because you know God can see. Yes, uh again. -huh. God, yeah, yeah, I can't see, but God can see. Yeah. Yeah. You think you can't see, God yes, can see. Sir. Yes, sir. I'm trying to get it worked into your head. Uh -huh. you, you try to do things in behind closed doors, cut the lights off. God can see. All right. Yeah. 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 See God, and God is like, if they hit him, there is no dog. God, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Try to cut the light off, and when God step in the room, all that you think that is there. It's going to disappear because when the light step on the scene, the body said, God has got to disappear. Mm -hmm. So right. you got to understand right. when you try to do things behind closed doors, thinking nobody's seeing. God can see. Yes. He said, I hear what 
was good in God's sight. Right? Yeah. Even when I thought you weren't looking, I, I did good because I knew you were looking. Amen. Yeah, God, he said, God, he said, I want you to remember these yeah. things. And then the Bible said he wept sore. Yeah, you got to understand, sometimes your problem can make you cry. All right. You yeah. never had no problem that make you cry. You really ain't got no problem. All right. Right. That's just the right. situation you going through. <laughs> but have a problem that make you cry. A problem that'll make you walk the floor all night long. A problem that, that you can't right. eat, you can't eat, you can't think, you can't do nothing but, but think about your problem. That's a problem right there. Uh -huh. Hezekiah said, the Bible said, Hezekiah started crying. Mm. Well, see here. Yeah, we dealt with Hezekiah problem. Mm -hmm. You understand? Hezekiah had a problem. The Bible said that God told him, sent word through him, that he was going to die and not live. Mm -hmm. Now you know when God said, it's going to happen. All right. Mm -hmm. the, only, the only way that God's word changes, he changed. And he yeah. Amen. 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 You know, like, 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 like I said, folks, folks, he be thinking, when well, God said, I'm going to get you. Mm -hmm. and, and he ain't got me yet. See, God, you understand, God work on his own time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And while you thinking and you think you done got away with it, yeah. I come here to tell you God gonna get you. All right. If he said in his word. Well, amen. He said, Hezekiah, you gonna die. And not live. See, Hezekiah could have went to the doctors and sought for help. Uh -huh. You understand? I come here to realize, I don't care how many pills you take. All right. I don't care how many push-ups you right, do. All right, brother. How many sit-ups you do. Uh -huh. How good you eat. That's right. What you don't put in your body. When God calls your name. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. The only yes. thing you can do is say, here yeah, I am. Yes. 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 Amen. He said here, uh, you saw his yeah. prayer. Yes, right. God, yes. I want you to remember some things that I have done. I, I want you to remember <laughs> how I walked and how I, how I treated my neighbor. But here, as we get ready to come to a close, we want to look at Hezekiah promise. All right. Yeah, I got you. I want you to understand God. When God make a promise, he'll keep it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, man, they Amen. Come all, all the time. Uh -huh. What they going to do and all this other That's stuff. Yeah. One time, man, word was his bond. Mm -hmm. But now you got to get his word, a contract, and get a North Republican and everything else. All right. Just to make him keep his word. word. Amen. Amen. Right, right. And here God gave Hezekiah, his word. Bible said he told him to turn again. Yeah, yeah that's shouting ground right there. Jesus. Because before Hezekiah, before Isaiah could even leave out the court real good, and he heard, you understand, Hezekiah's prayer. He said, turn again. Uh -huh. Don't God work in a mysterious way? Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. He, he might not come when you want him to come. Yeah. But I, I come to you, I guarantee you, he's right on time. Amen. Amen. Hezekiah. You understand? We're still weeping. I ain't got amen out yet. And God said, hold on, Isaiah. All right. I want you to turn around. Yeah. Lord, have God turned around or turned you around? That's on your situation. Amen. Lord, yes, sir. And he turned again. Amen. Yeah, see, I done been through some things. I have been going down the wrong path. And God said, turn again and turn me around. Uh -huh. He said, I'm Hezekiah. He said, Isaiah, I want you to turn again. And I want you to tell Hezekiah. The captain of my people, God, that's a, hard call. That's a shouting ground right there. Yeah. Because when I thought about this, I thought about my pastor. Mm -hmm. Because he, things were going rough for me. Mm -hmm. All right. He said, Hezekiah, I want, you to, I want you to know I'm still on your side. So, right. Yeah. And I heard you pray. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, I know we still are crying out to God. Yeah. Yeah. You might sit there and act like you don't know what you're talking about. But uh -huh. well, get down in the dump. Uh -huh. and, and start calling yes, God. Yeah. And we have to go yes, back. I guarantee you to get that shouting and crying. Yeah. Yeah. All right, All right. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. He said, Hezekiah, he said, God, I want you to turn around and tell Hezekiah, the captain of my people. Yeah. God says the law of God. See, Hezekiah knew what he was going through. The only person that could turn things around was God himself. And God himself gave the word. And God himself rechanged the word. He said, I want you to go and tell Hezekiah, mm -hmm. the captain of my people. Well, he said, I, I, I said, thus says the Lord of God. He said, that far, I have heard that prayer. Don't you know God can hear? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. yeah. yeah. God hear everything. Yeah. yeah. And I thank God, God can hear my prayer. Uh -huh. Sometimes we pray and we don't know. We pray amiss. But we got a, a mediator that can fix it up for us. And God, yeah. I know what he said, but this is what he means. And God can hear our prayers. Even if we don't utter a word. He said, I heard that prayer. And then he said, I've seen that tears. Yeah, yeah problems can make you cry sometimes. Right. And see, when God heard his prayer, right. he seen his tears, it touched God's heart. 
And I guarantee you, we got God that can, we can touch his heart with our prayer. Amen. I never prayed to love and pray sometimes that we know God, we can touch God's heart. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah, it might sound good to man, but I don't, I don't worry about what man thinks about God. Right. But I don't want to talk to the Lord. I just lay it out on the line. Hey, you know, I have to say all these keys and dials, baby. Here I am. Oh, yeah. I need some help. God, 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 I have to pray. He said, he said, I heard thy prayer and I seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee. Amen. There ain't that some shouting ground right there? Yes, it is. He said, I will heal thee. Uh-huh. And when God hears you, God hears you. See, man catch you up. All right. When God hears you, God can hear you. God can hear you. Yeah. 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 I got off riders and God and the, and, the, and the man gave me some pills to take. Yeah. It don't hurt as much, but I still got off the ride. But when God called my name, oh, yeah. and I go home, I ain't got to worry about the pills or the off the ride. Yeah. Oh, right there, man. Yeah, more. Oh, God said, I heard that yeah. friend seen that tears. I'm gonna heal you on the third day. Oh. It's something about that third day. Yeah. Oh, I got right. a hole right here. That third day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of things happen in three. We go to try to even train at that three. Yeah. Uh -huh. Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. Yeah, he said, I'm going to heal him in three days. But I want you to understand, you don't get nothing else. That Jesus died yeah. on the third day. Yeah. He got it with all power. Oh, he got yes, it in, he in his hands. He said, on that third day. Yeah, you might be hurt Monday and Tuesday, but huh, wait, wait, when you win, you come. All right, yeah. <laughs> when Colton wrote you out. Yeah. yeah. When you're, you're down to your last dime. Yeah. When you don't know which way is out. Right. He said on that third day. Yeah. He said, I, I got to let you go through some things right now. Because see, if I hear you just like that, see, you wouldn't understand and you wouldn't give me the praise. But see, if I let you go through some okay. things, uh -huh. if I let you experience some things, and then when you come out on the other side of the valley, yeah. you grab right. and shout oh, and get out of the church. Preach, preach, preach. He said, I shall hear yeah. And then he said, and then you're going to go up to the house of the Lord. Uh -huh. That's some shouting ground right there. Not only yeah. is you going to get healed, but you're going to come to the house and give me the praise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, 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 I, 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 how many of us going to be when the doctor heals us? We won't go tell the doctor, thank you for the peace that you gave you. Uh -huh. so but when God does something for you, right. you don't come to church, you don't say thank you. All right, yeah. brother. You don't say, Lord, say it, brother. You, you look at me. You know, old folks, you always say, you look beyond my faults and saw my needs. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you know you got some faults, but yet still he took care of you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He said, on the third day, you're going to come, you're going to get healed, and you're going to come out into the house. Uh -huh. And you're going to give God some praise. Uh -huh. And then he didn't stop right like there. Because not only did he did he um, restore it, but he gave, he gave, he gave him, you understand, um, a remedy. My Lord. Because he said, I will add unto thee 15 years. Oh, yeah. All right. Who can add unto you life? Hmm. Nobody. Nobody but God. For he made but God. You, and he can extend your time. Oh, yeah. You understand? You know, we are boxed in time. Yeah. I got a certain time I gotta cut this sermon off. You got a certain time that you got you got nothing. But see, God, you understand, is not boxed in time. All right, time amen. Time is on God's side. God side. Yes, God sir. Time what to do. Yes, so sir. Before time even start, the Bible said God was there because it said in the beginning was God. Uh -huh. You have to understand, before time, God was already there. Amen. He started time. Yeah. yeah. So here we see here. He said that. He said that. I will. You understand? Give thee 15 more years. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I will deliver thee out of the city of the hands of the king of Assyria. Mm -hmm. Other words, what he was saying here, you got to understand, not only will God heal you in the inside, but God will take care of your enemies. All away. right. Yeah. See, why, 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 why the Satan was attacking Hezekiah on the inside, his uh, uh, enemies was attacking him on the outside. He said, you ain't got to worry about the sickness on the inside, nor your enemies on the outside, because oh, I can make the enemy Push yeah. He said, don't worry about them. He said, just get your mindset on going up to the house and giving me some praises for what I need. He yeah. said, I'm going to give you and give you 15 more years. Nice and then he Lord. said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bind up the enemy. He yeah. said, because I'm going to defend the city of mine for my own sake yeah. and for my servant David's sake. Yeah. He said, I'm doing this for me. Wow. He said, yeah, he said, he said, tell Isaiah. Isaiah, I want you to tell him. I got to get ready to come to the post. He said, Isaiah, I got to tell you something. He said, I want you to go and take some figs and, and put it on his body. All and right. going to be a healing. And I said, I found out that God can take some water here and do some extraordinary things. Oh, yeah. How many of us can take some figs and heal somebody? <laughs> <laughs> 
The thing is that they look uncommon on top of those clothes. And they cause it to be a remedy because he don't want you to give the feed to praise. I don't want you to give that feed right. to praise. But I want you to understand him. I want you to give me the praise. Okay. Yes. 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 And what we come to realize is that we serve a prayer answering God. Yeah. Yes. And if you don't get nothing out of here, all you got to do is just take it to God and pray. Take it to I him. remember grandmama used to always say, I got a phone in my bosom and I can call him up in any time of the day. Uh -huh. You understand? Somebody had to call him early this morning. Yeah. Somebody called him at noon day. Somebody had to call him at the midnight hour. But I come in and tell you, did not God hear you cry? Yeah. Yes, yes, God sir. hear you cry. Right. Did not God see your tears? I come here and tell you, if nobody did on one accord, we was all on one accord just to come past Thursday. Yeah. Somebody praying to you. Somebody praying to you. Somebody praying to you. Somebody praying to you. We yeah. gotta say something different, but we had the same thing in mind. God said, I heard the yes, prayer. Sir. And yeah. I come here to tell you, all we got to do is yeah. lean and depend on God. Yeah. God can hear our prayer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Shout grounds right here. Yeah. Yeah. That we serve a God that can hear our prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. A God that we can call in the midnight hour. Oh, yeah. A God that when, when friends and family turn their backs on God, can hear your prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you're going through, if you got a problem, turn it over to God. If you got some children that hard it, turn it over to the Lord. If you got a sick, turn it over to the Lord. I guarantee you, just like you did every time God will hear your prayer. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. God bless you. Yes. God keep you as I pray. Thank you, Lord. Bless you. Lord, the church are over. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless 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 you